Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, now, this situation where you can use this, these uh, uh, rubber dam clamps may not be suitable for you. So today we're going to discuss uh, a different option. We're going to use floss. And this is a very good option because you can sterilize it. And this comes from uh, smartcart.ro. It's uh, a black charcoal uh, floss and it comes in a steel and glass container, which means that it can go through the 121 degrees cycle. The reason I'm going to use this is because it's black. And uh, if you've ever tried to use floss ligatures, you probably uh, had some issues when trying to remove them. Uh, did you remove the whole thing? Well, certainly if you're going to use black floss, you're going to see it. And this is a major advantage. Now, as I said previously, um, if you're going to try to restore tooth, num uh, tooth number 1.1, you're not going to be able to use a clamp. And the reason you're not going to be able to use one is that probably you're going to have a silicon guide which is not going to fit on your uh, dental teal. Now, as you can see, I removed 212. And now I'm going to use this lasso, this simple lasso. If you want to know how to uh, make one of these, you can check out one of our previous videos. And you're going to simply going to run it between your teeth. And now you're going to grab the two laces and you're going to pull. Now, of course, it helps if your assistant is going to use a probe and fix this to your palatal side, but if you don't have an assistant, you can always gently insert it. Then you can tighten it some more and make sure that it goes wherever you want it to go. This is one. Now we are going to do the same for tooth number 1.1. Gently run through the distal, now through the mesial. Tighten it on the palatal, like this. And now you're going to gently tighten your knot and once it's seated we're going to push it towards the palatal even further like this and now tighten it even more now this is number two of course this setup is going to help if you're going to uh, bond two veneers on the centrals and you can take it even further and go all the way to the canines. Now, there are plenty of people that enjoy cutting these, so they only keep the knot next to the buccal part of the tooth. But what I really like to do is use the frame that I have uh, previously placed in the wrong position, meaning that it's facing upwards, and now I'm going to do these knots. And after I've done these knots, what I can do is tighten them even further and because of that I'm going to get even more pressure on the patient's upper lip. This is going to help me in uh, uh, retracting the rubber dam along with uh, uh, the frame and it's going to give me a nice open view of my working field. This could be key in some cases where the upper lip is high volume. It's going to look like this and the palatal is going to look like this. So now I can really start working on my centrals and not be uh, bothered by any sort of any anatomical details that the rubber dam can't retract. Thank you. See you soon.